Welcome Rotor Heads. Today we will be talking about the presidential helicopter, Marine One. Marine One, is any aircraft operated by the United States Marine Corps dedicated to transporting the President of the United States. Primarily, this nomenclature pertains to helicopters managed by Marine Helicopter Squadron 1 Nighthawks, featuring the larger Sikorsky VH-3D Sea King, or the more contemporary VH-60M Whitehawk. Affectionately known as White Tops, due to their distinctive livery. The historical context of presidential helicopter transport dates back to 1957, when President Eisenhower utilized a Bell UH-13J Sioux for expedient travel to his summer residence in Pennsylvania. This prompted the commissioning of a Sikorsky UH-34 Seahorse helicopter to address the need for practical transport of over short distances. Over time, helicopter models evolved, transitioning from the H-13 to the Sikorsky H-34 in 1958, succeeded by the VH-3A in 1961. In 1976, the Marine Corps assumed exclusive responsibility for presidential helicopter transportation, marking the conclusion of shared duties with the United States Army. The VH-3D entered service in 1978, followed by the VH-60N in 1987. Technological advancements and evolving mission requirements prompted continual improvements to both helicopter models. However, by 2001, the additional weight compromised mission capability. As of 2009, the presidential fleet comprised 11 VH-3DS and 8 VH-60NS. Despite various upgrades, Marine One had not experienced any accidents or attacks by that time. The events of September 11, 2001, underscored the imperative for substantial upgrades to the communication, transportation, and security systems of the Marine One fleet. In April 2002, the Navy was tasked with designing new presidential helicopters by 2011. The Defense Department aimed for the helicopters to be ready by the end of 2008. The competition for the contract narrowed down to Lockheed Martin Sikorsky aircraft. Lockheed Martin collaborated with Augusta Westland, proposing a version of the Augusta Westland AW101, while Sikorsky presented its S92. The Navy awarded the contract to Lockheed Martin in January 2005, designating the helicopter as VH-71 Kestrel. The plan included the delivery of five initial, less sophisticated VH-71s in 2010, followed by 23 upgraded versions in 2015. The goal was to retire all VH-3DS and VH-60NS, along with the initial VH-71s, by 2015, leaving the Marine One fleet with 23 helicopters. However, by March 2008, the projected cost of the 28 helicopters had escalated from an initial estimate of $6.1 billion to $11.2 billion. Each VH-71 was expected to cost $400 million, exceeding the cost of a Boeing VC-25 Air Force One airplane. Due to escalating cost overruns surpassing an estimated $13 billion, the VH-71 program was cancelled in June 2009. Following the program's cancellation, the Marine Corps reinitiated efforts, creating an initial capabilities document and gaining approval from the department in August 2009. Boeing, among others, expressed interest, suggesting adaptations of its CH-47 or Bell Boeing B-22 to meet the project's needs. The Navy intended to keep VH-3DS and VH-60s operational with a $500 million investment while proceeding with a new development. By August 2013, all interested companies, except Sikorsky Aircraft, had withdrawn from the bidding. Sikorsky, partnered with Lockheed Martin, intended to use the S-92 as the base aircraft. The final contract award occurred on May 7, 2014, with the Navy awarding Sikorsky Aircraft a $1.24 billion contract to build six presidential helicopters, designated Sikorsky VH-92. A fleet of 21 helicopters is expected to be in service by 2023. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe.